In a division where every fight is one punch away from ending, both Andrei Arlovsky and Frank Mir were written off in the heavyweight division, and their detractors had ample evidence with both fighters suffering four-fight losing streaks after more than 10 years in the sport. Andrei Arlovsky's return to the UFC in 2014 was a surprise to many and did little to signal the resurgence that would follow. It's good that Dana White not here because he's probably so pissed on me. His next assignment would be a rematch against Bigfoot Silva in front of a rabid crowd in Brazil. Pitbull used his footwork and boxing to force Silva to open up, and when the giant did, Arlovsky put his lights out. Oh! Bigfoot goes down! Early knockdown for Arlovsky! Silva's He's out! Got it. That performance of the night earned him a date with Travis Brown, which turned into one of the most entertaining heavyweight bouts of all time. The win put Arlovsky in the title conversation, which shows that the former UFC champion may still regain his former glory. After four straight losses to the heavyweight elite, Frank Mir decided to take some time off and regroup. During his time away, the former heavyweight champion turned to boxing as a way to renew his passion for MMA. In his return bout, his new skills were on full display as he put away Bigfoot in less than two minutes. With no top 10 heavyweights available, Mir was goaded into a bout with Todd Duffy and quickly showed the 29-year-old that he wasn't ready for the big boys of the division. Can Arlovsky continue his resurgence and book a date with the champ? Or will Mir muzzle the pit bull and ascend to the top of the division himself? <laughs>